I am the most mobile person in this room. Well, at least in the top 5%. But to get mobile, this mobility in the physical world, first, I had to get mobile in my thinking. I had to free my mind, be open to inspiration and new perspectives, create a space for transformation, for alchemical moments, a space to fly free and dream a previously unimagined dream. But how does this happen? As an artist with a background in science, psychology and healthcare myself, I know how you answer an important question. You design an experiment. You undertake a research process. That is something artists and scientists have in common. They both use research. They both design experiments. You may not realize it, but every great work of art is an experiment a vehicle, a gift that enables one to perceive from new perspectives. Einstein's thought experiments were a form of conceptual art, experiments that freed his mind to discover his theory of relativity and perceive reality through a different lens. Experiments in science and experiments in art have certain things in common. The most exciting experiments are ones that ask open-ended questions. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't define the results. You as the experimenter, are open. Open to learning. Open to transformation. But there are important differences, too. In a science experiment, you aim to leave yourself out of the equation, to be a neutral observer, though quantum physics tells us this is impossible. In an artistic experiment, you're experimenting on your own consciousness as much as on the objective outer world. The experiment is designed in part to provoke a reaction, not only in yourself, but also in the audience as well as yourself. In an artistic experiment, it's a valid question to ask, how does it make me feel? And perhaps that's the most interesting question. Through my scientific training, I have been given a gift, a particular way of thinking, an understanding of the power of research, of analysis, of structured, organized, systematic thought. But there are different ways of knowing, of creating meaning. Sometimes the frameworks designed to free us become cages, cages that constrict our thinking, 
disabling us where there are no physical impairments limiting our ability to see. What intellectual constructs are you strapped into? Maybe your cages aren't visible, but I can guarantee you they are there. Maybe you want to get out of them. Maybe you want to turn them into a vehicle. Maybe you might dream of creating a space to fly free. Through my artistic training, I have also been given a gift, a portal as a thinking space, a thinking space that, that acts as a vehicle to transform preconceptions, a vehicle that can fly beyond mind-based ways of thinking, that can explore and transform the limits of the mind, a vehicle that gives me the freedom to envisage new possibilities, that can use almost any scientific, academic or philosophic framework as a launch pad to fly free that can weave freedom from an experiential, embodied reality, from performance, from movement, from sound, and from poetry. But how does my arts practice make me feel? When I'm moving through the underwater spaces, off the coast of Egypt. It makes me feel free. Look what I'm doing. I'm not swimming. I'm flying. I can bank and roll, somersault, turn loop the loops if I want to. It's the ultimate freedom. It's the ultimate joy and exhilaration. So, as both a scientist and an artist, I am brought here by a portal, by an underwater wheelchair that has become that portal, a vehicle for transformation, a funmobile, an electric wheelbarrow, a sub-aquatic machine, an object to paint and play with, leave traces of my joy and freedom, a facilitator of endless experimentation, a research tool that facilitates an ongoing journey, a thinking space that enables me to create new theory from that practice, enables me to ask unexpected questions, and gives me the freedom to realize a previously unexpected dream. So, arts and science don't have to be divorced. Scientists can benefit from seeing through the eyes of an artist. Every mathematician who has spoken of the beauty in numbers knows exactly what I mean. Every astrophysicist who has felt awe at the amazing structures of the universe every biologist who has marveled at the infinite variety of life, is blending the eyes of art with the mind of science and is a better scientist for it, and perhaps a better person too. In science, we sometimes forget that feeling, that amazement, that beauty. Art is a portal that can help you break free. And now that you've seen the artwork, you're part of it. It's in you. You own it. And you, too, can become the most mobile person in the room. <laughs>